Hello again. We lost the die roll this time, sad face. Oh, that's not a bad hand. We got some good defensive plays. We have a 2-3. But more importantly, we have these. These are both pretty solid. It's not very exciting because we don't have any clue sources, but hopefully we'll draw them. Certainly this ought to buy us enough time to do that. Green. Green, red. Death cap cultivate. That has death touch. No, it doesn't have death touch. It has death touch later. Well, have at thee, Mr. 2 1. Have at thee. Not actually blocking that. Oh, that's, that's terrifying. More land? Really? Do we play the ironic stoic builder? I think we have to. It's fine. As long as we keep... As long as we draw another spell to follow this up with, uh, it can block the solitary hunter for a while. Oh dear. Oh wow. This is terrifying. I can definitely see why this person is a game up. Nope, I will not chump block that. Spell, please. Really? Wow. When they say they say they said this was magic online, but apparently I play magic online just like I play in real life. Lots of these. Apparently in these sorts of situations you're meant to blame Worth. So uh sorry Worth. This is obviously your doing. What? Wow, that is hardcore. Um, I think we still take this and hope to draw something relevant. We're going to draw Throttle and be sad, aren't we? Confront the unknown. That's still very sad. Okay. Um, the chances of us hitting an instant and being able to flip them back in the opponent's turn is low, and we really don't want to take another swing anyway. They missed the land drop last turn, so we're probably not going to get 6-6 six -six from the Quilled Wolf for a little while. I think I'm actually going to play this just to get the two clues out. Um, and crack one of them now in the hope for, say, a press for answers or something. Actually, even then, maybe we're meant to keep the press for answers back. Let's see what we draw. Um, so, sack this. A land? Well, at least we're not drawing it next turn. Uh, and pass. Oh, interesting that the Illuminator's bonus doesn't apply to the confront. Oh, I hadn't thought about that interaction before. Is our opponent just passing and... Uh, we still don't have good blocks for this. Just taking our lumps. I think our opponent's going to do the old pass and flip them thing. Wow, I sure wish we had another confront or something to punish this right now. <laughs> Let's see what we get. It'll help. Come on. Any spell, but especially press for answers. <laughs> Boom. Okay. Now that I said that, do we even cast it? And what do we cast it on? I think we just press this. Um, if our opponent draws a land, yeah, we take a bunch of damage. Um, I guess we just trade off the Stoic Builder at that point. Um, so I think I'm going to fetch the Swamp. One to the hand. Say Island into the bin. We have plenty of islands. Play this. Ooh, holding something up. How exciting. What's cheap and in black that we can hold up here? What's the black combat trick? Escapes me for some reason. Um, let's tap this guy down. Definitely going to hold up Confront the Unknown, although this play doesn't massively suggest it, strategically speaking. Um, but at least we should be able to get a decent amount of gas off of these now, and hopefully keep those werewolves from flipping. 
we did just get a nice little time walk off of that. Um, but it's going to be a little difficult for us to actually stabilize. We have Kessig Dioswine, which is good against this even when it's big. Um, is our opponent going to do it again? What do you have? So I think I'm going to block the wolf and leave this where it sits. Possibly I meant to block both of these because the chances of them having one, uh, the chances of having the ability to blow them up with two tricks is quite low. Maybe they have a dual shot and they just want to make a ton of trades. But I think this card is important enough, especially as we really need to make sure we have spells all the time, uh, that I'm just going to block here. But actually, possibly I block the Cultivator. Um, because that turns off this thing's ability full stop. Okay, opponent does not want to make that. Um, yeah, I'll block this. This is scarier if our opponent draws a land, whereas this is not scary if we draw spells, and we're fairly likely to do that with three chances at it and a bunch of lands already filtered out of the deck. Now that I've said that, we're just going to get three lands in a row and die, but, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Please don't have spiteful motives here. I will be very sad. Rush of Adrenaline. That is quite sad, but not the worst. Are you... Really? Are we dead? Uh, I can't do maths. Tell me, Moto. Am I deceased? No. <laughs> um... Well, probably not milling them up this turn, I'll tell you that. Um, what can we hit? Watcher in the web. Which means we need to just crack this first, so that we have the mana. Uh, yes. I think I'm just going to concede and not show my opponent the memories. Um, right. So... This might come in handy uh, as another large creature that we can hit, although it is a bit slow. This is a blocker. This helps us pull ahead on mana, but doesn't actually block much of their stuff relevantly. This makes chop blockers, but slowly. Um, this might be good as another trump. Possibly I'm trying to find a reason to put this in. If we're doing that, maybe cutting fork in the road. I guess we have this for ramp anyway. Um, it's a bit awkward because I do want to put these in but at the same time having a low curve is really relevant against werewolves. Um, we have enough blockers and random interaction that we can deal with that. I mean, if we'd had this open, for instance, when our opponent went for that rush fury play, that's a thought. Do we have other ways of interacting with that? I don't think so. Doesn't look like. I think we run it back and hope. Um, certainly, we could have drawn better. If nothing else, um, I think I keep this. Vessel can hit lands, so we're decently likely to be able to hit this. This card is great, this card is great. Um, it's a bit chunky, but we're on the play, so we'll have a bit of time to dig. I mean, I guess the ideal is we top deck island on turn 2 and we can sag this to look for something relevant later, like fleeting memories, but for now I'm happy to go looking for an island and turn our blue creatures on. That's still an acceptable use of turn 2. Not having to use this on turn 2 would also be nice for just kind of holding up oh we really need to get a spell um, let's crack this and look for something cheap um, we missed but byway courier is great uh, I think I'll just crack this now for the sake of the clock yeah, I'm okay with those going into the bin. 
we didn't mill away anything valuable or indeed reveal our dex tricks. Okay. So I kind of like the idea of playing this, actually. Even though that's a really dirtly play. <laughs> this is awkward because... Um, playing playing this is a terrible use of mana. I think I want to play the Courier. I think that's the most sensible thing. I play Courier into this and then block with the Courier. Um, yeah, I'm just trading with that straight up. Um, so I guess... We miss out on one clue, but wading wood into this is the most efficient use of mana here. <clears throat> so there's... Yeah, I think that... And then that means we don't have to play another land to have ramped. Turns on throttle, and so on. And we have this out. Um, yeah, let's do that. Make sure I enchant the right one. Uh, yep. And I think I'm just going to leave this back to block. Either trade with this or a trick. Or hold it back. I'm okay with any of those circumstances. It dies we draw two cards. Build your own was it, youthful scholar. Oh, really? Ugh. That's terrifying. Vessel is fine. Um, Observer is fine. I think I'm going to jam the mole, though. feel like drawing some cards and gaining some life. Yep, and I'll attack with the Illuminator. Because it sure as hell is not blocking those 3-3s. Three <coughs> Let's More wolves. Okay. Let's just sack this now. Get some value, draw some cards. That's pretty good. That's very good. We don't have Delirium yet. Uh, but we will after playing this. I think that's a reasonable thing to do. Play Press Francis, play Kindly Stranger. Um, we can also press and then sack one of the clues looking for a land. But I don't think we massively need lands. We can just play this if we want a land. Um, but obviously that's worse with Delirium. The press isn't doing that much here. Um, no, I lie. It's generating clues. That counts as much. I mean, this might be good anyway. Although, our opponent probably just reduces it to ashes. Then again, I feel like they might have done that to the graph mole if they had it in hand. I mean, playing the builder and then the forest and the vessel is also a pretty good setup play. Um, and it allows us to use these when they're a bit more impactful. The downside is it gives our opponent more time to draw into removal for this before we get any real value out of it, but maybe that's okay. Yeah, let's go for it. Ping. I guess if our opponent draws a removal spell, they'll be kind of maybe torn between these two. We're seeing a pass and flip everything here. That's just not going to work, opponent. Maybe they have an instant. Ooh! These are all very good. So this, the swine is a nice big trump, but I feel like we want to play two spells this turn, so... I think I'm going to go for Mysteries. I can play that plus Press for Answers or Kindly Stranger. And then we have an Overworld Mysteries out. And it just gets a lot harder for the opponent to win in that case. Although this beats it pretty hard. So we missed the land. We have six mana. So I can do this plus this. Uh, or I can do Mysteries plus whatever. Um... Mystery Stranger is probably perfectly good enough. 
Um, the downside is I don't want this to get reduced to ashes. Let's see some removal and response here, actually. That would be sad. Geist Blast, the Byway Courier. That's an interesting play. I guess maybe it wasn't doing anything else. The Geist Blast, I mean. Um, well, I feel like that was pretty good for us. Um, still want to play the second spell. Um, but... And we attack with this guy. <laughs> right. Don't reduce the ashes the graph mole pulls. Alright, fine. That'll do. <laughs> okay, well, playing control works. Uh that was definitely a thing. Now we have to do that again while in the draw. We still didn't have to show them the memories, which is kind of nice. Um I guess we haven't seen much delirium from them. Um Presumably they don't have that much removal. Geist Blasting, a byway courier is really awkward, so they clearly just had nothing else going on. Um, courier wasn't even doing anything. I guess they just wanted to set up the ability to attack without getting monstrously behind on value. Right, let's see. More of game two and less of game one, please. Ugh! Um, we cannot possibly keep this on the draw, I think. I mean, mulliganing against werewolves is also bad, but I feel like this is not going to be impactful enough if they play a three-drop werewolf, of which we've seen at least two. And they have a bunch of two-drops. And a monodork, so they could even play a solitary hunter on turn three. And we have no play. We might well have not drawn anything by then. Shabut. That is better. I mean, it's not a lot better. In fact, it's Maybe worse? <laughs> um, oh. I feel like that goes on the bottom. Even though it's really good. Uh, I think we're going to want to see... I mean, we need the fourth land, but that's not unlikely by then. We're going to want to see Swamp. Particularly. And earlier plays. So I'm going to put that on the bottom. I think we want to draw something like Wedding Wood for turn 3. Wedding Wood would be ideal, actually. Confront is fine. That's a play that we can make. I guess, like, no werewolf flip for you. Cycle this is, like, fine. No green is probably good for us. That is probably bad for us. We unfortunately can't let it flip, really, can we? I, t I to be fair, this is this is still a draw two here. That's not the worst thing ever. Um, do we attack with it and take two back? Um, let's find out. I feel like this gives us more information. Okay, so we will be able to play the golem and quite likely the swine. We still don't have a play for next turn. Um, but I don't really want to block, because it, our opponent does have a bunch of tricks, so I don't think I feel comfortable blocking. So I'm just going to go ahead and swing. Well. Oh dear. Not this again. Please. Pause. Let's see a press for... Oh, boy. Oh, I think we just lost. Um, oof. Are we chumping now? We take 7 to 8. Opponent plays another threat. This comes down. Doesn't do a lot. Yeah, I think we have to we have to chomp. That's very sad. This is why I I don't really like werewolves as a design because this happens in limited. 
You miss tons. You mulligan, you know. Bad things take place. Maybe they'll be afraid of confront and one attack. No, they're attacking. Eep. Um, are we just dead? Like, do they have the combo? And we're just dead. Okay. We're not dead. And they didn't play another threat. Okay, that's good. Where were you last turn, Byway Courier? You would have been awesome. Uh, I feel like I want to keep this until we have the ability to play two cards in one turn. So I'm just going to jam this 3-5 uh, and hope it gets there. <laughs> I think I blocked the Duelist. Part of the reason I chomped was so that I can block the Duelist instead of the Howler. Um, we got an 8. I think if our opponent has anything, we're sort of dead anyway. But this, if they have Rush of Adrenaline... Ooh, wow, they just passed. That's fantastic for us. Okay, in that case, if our opponent is afraid... Let's make them more afraid. They must just have a hand of green cards, after all. Uh, which is great. For us. That's kind of scary. Still just land. That's bad. Um, do I play the courier? Yeah, I think so. I think we need to just be able to jump block. Um, or block in general, really. I think we need to just sit and do nothing for a while. Um, while our opponent does the same thing. And hopefully we draw action before they... Uh, I was about to say, hopefully we draw action before they draw a forest. <laughs> um, I mean, the tricks we saw were red. And most of the powerful attacking tricks are red. And we have this to chomp with and this to eat stuff with. So our opponent may well not feel like they can get in. Um, but we really got to draw something to do next turn. Root out. Oh, that's pretty sad. <laughs> hmm. Good bit of sideboard card. In they come. Alright, Rush of Adrenaline makes that... 7... 6. That trades. And I think we just... Chomp here? Don't want to leave ourselves with absolutely nothing to do. No, I think we just chomp here and we take the... Ah, uh, that seems bad. No. We're chomping this because this is going to die. Um, oh, I didn't... Hmm. I pressed the wrong button. Well, at least that transforms back. That's good. Awesome, we drew a thing that works. Um, do I crack this clue now? I think so. I'm still... I'm playing this guy regardless. He's one of our best creatures. Um, I'm just going to do this and hope for maybe a press Francis. That'll do. That trades with Voldar and Duelist. <laughs> Demands attention. Our opponent is sad. I noticed. I feel bad for them, but also we've drawn a lot of lands. They've they've had some uh, free passes in this match. Five five. Well, we can double block. Does that mean we should? Um, if they have uncaged fury, we die anyway. If they have another rush, which we haven't seen, um, we lose, but we're not actually dead. Dead. Um, I think we have to go for it. Which is very unfortunate. Um, I mean, I guess if they don't have anything, it's two for two, so that's fine. Okay, cool. Our opponent still has more cards in hand than us, because we have a lot of mana, but... Oh, that's very bad. Oh, really? <laughs> um, well, I guess... What can we even draw next turn? Uh, I guess 
Drown Yard Explorers into another blocker? Drown Yard Explorers into Swamp? No, that doesn't quite work. Don't have the mana for it. Oh, our opponent didn't... That's weird. Maybe they didn't realize. Come on, a spell. That'll do. GG. <laughs> yeah, that's just lethal. Block the biggest one, still die. Be nice to my opponent. <laughs> Alright, well, that was... We had one game where that worked, and a couple of games where it didn't. I mean, drawing that many lands against werewolves tends to lead to bad things, but... Um, I think in game one, our opponent just had such an amazing draw against our fairly lackluster one. And in game two, neither of us did anything, but they did stuff before we did. Um, although it was all looking a bit promising until they had that root out. That was that was very impactful, that root out. That was a good bit of sideboarding on their part. Um, so, one on one. Um, that's a decent record. Let's make, let's make it a two on one before the end of the day. We can do this. I will see you guys for the final round.